Welcome to SAT School. This is second video on area of triangle and quadrilateral. Now let's get started. And this is what we did in previous video. Theorem 1. If you have not watched that video, I strongly recommend to watch that first. Click the i button above and watch the video. Here what we did was parallelograms which are standing on the same base and between same parallels are equal in area. We have a palm which is A, B, C, D and the next B, C, E, F. So these two palm which are standing on the same base and between same parallel lines are equal in area. So this is what we proved in previous video that is theorem 1. So here is practice question 1 based on that theorem. Now we have to write the relationship between area of parallelogram and area of rectangle standing on the same base and between same parallel lines. Now here the point to note, a rectangle is also a parallelogram. Remember every rectangle is also parallelogram, meaning you have to show the relation between this parallelogram or this parallelogram, meaning a rectangle. Now from theorem 1, if they are standing on the same base and between same parallel lines, then their area are equal. So area of parallelogram is equals to area of rectangle. Just don't be confused. Every rectangle is also a parallelogram. That's why area of this parallelogram is equals to area of the rectangle. Now here is practice question 2. Again, based on same theorem 1, you have to show the relation between parallelogram ABCD and BCEF. So these are two parallelograms. They have the same base BC and they are standing on the same base between same parallel lines. Again, we have ABCD a palm, BCEF next palm. They have same base and they are between same parallel lines, meaning their area are equal. Just area of palm ABCD equals to area of palm BCEF. The reason is they are standing on the same base and they are between same parallel lines. So this is what we did in previous practice question one as well. Remember two palms standing on the same base between two parallel lines are equal in area. Now here is practice question 3. From the given figure, we have to find the area of parallelogram QRUT. Now a square is given with one side 5 cm. We have PQ 5 cm. Now a square is given with a side. We know the area of square is equals to square of the any side. Once we have the area of the square, now this palm which is QRUT and this square which is PQRS, they are standing on the same base and between same parallel lines. Again point to note, every square is also a palm, meaning this is also a palm and this is also a palm. From theorem 1, if two palm they have the same base and they are between same parallel lines, then their area are equal. Now here we have to find area of the square first. And to find the area of the square, we have a side which is 5 cm. So PQRS is a square where PQ is 5 cm, meaning this side is 5 cm. Now we can find the area of the square using the formula L square or square of the side where the side is PQ square that is 5 square which is equals to 25 square centimeter. Now once we have the area of PQRS, the area of PQRS is equals to area of this palm because they are standing on the same base and between same parallel lines. Now we can say area of parallelogram is equals to area of the square which is PQRS and area of the square from here is 
25 square centimeter. So the reason is they are standing on the same base and between same parallel lines. That's why their area are equal. Now we can say the area of the parallelogram QRUT is equal to 25 square centimeter. Again, two palms standing on the same base and between same parallel lines are equal in area. So that is theorem one. On the base of that theorem, we have to find this area of this parallelogram. Again, point to note, every square, every rectangle is also a palm. Now here is practice question four. From the given figure, now we have BC is parallel to AE. This BC is parallel to AE, meaning these two opposite sides are parallel. AB is parallel to CD. This AB is parallel to CD. If AB is parallel to CD, now we have ABCD a palm because opposite sides are parallel. This one is parallel with this one and this one is parallel with this one according to this. That's why ABCD is a parallelogram. Next is BF is parallel to CE. Here BF is parallel to CE, meaning these two opposite sides are also parallel and these two opposite sides are parallel. B, C, E, F is a parallelogram. Now here A, G is perpendicular with C, D. In that case, A, B is given 14 square, 14 centimeter. Now area of quadrilateral is also given B, C, E, F, which is 98 square centimeter. Find the length of A, G. Now here this quadrilateral, which is B, C, E, F is a palm. It says in the question a quadrilateral, but this quadrilateral is in fact a palm, B, C, E, F, because this side is parallel with this one and this side is parallel with this one, meaning this is a palm, which is 98 square centimeter. Now, if we have the area of this B, C, E, F, then we can find the area of A, B, C, D, because they are standing on the same base and between same parallel lines. Once we have the area of ABCD, now we can use the formula to find area of the palm, which is base times height. Here, this is the base, which is CD, and this is the height, which is AG, and this is what we have to find. In the question, we have AB, which is 14 centimeter. This AB is equal to CD. So you can replace this CD by AB. The region is opposite sides of palm are equal. And you can find the height of AG, I mean the side AG, which is height of the parallelogram. So I want you to try this question. First, find ABCD, area of ABCD, which is equal to BCEF because they are standing on the same base and between parallel lines, same parallel lines. And then use this relation to find AZ. You can fine complete this challenge i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching this must be today please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get a notification as soon as i upload my next video take care